Okay, so there's a brand new app out, uh, a writing app that I think is going to get a lot of people excited. It came out just a couple of days ago, July 17th. It's called Rich Text Edit, and it's on sale right now for only 99 cents. And why are people so excited about this app? It's because it's a rich text, like the name of the of the app, um, a word processor. And basically, this uh, this supports um, exporting and importing documents and writing them in rich text editing uh, RTC format, which is an old but very powerful format. And Pages and Microsoft Word can import RTF documents. But this is apparently, it's claiming it's the first and only writing tool exclusively designed for the iPad that can import, edit, and save documents in one of the in, in the RTF rich text format. And with that, you can do all sorts of formatting and stuff like that. So anyways, um, let's take a look at it. I'm very excited. Okay, so this is what rich text edit looks like when you launch it. Actually, when you first launch it, uh, you get um, a sort of uh, instructions and overview on how to use it called Get Started, and it's very helpful. And um, what's you know powerful about this program is that it's built for a rich text edit format, RTF, but it can also handle other formats. And um, what's nice is they give you this overview instruction, plus they give you nice examples of different types of documents you can create. Here's a nice math sample that they give. As you can see, you can put in all sorts of complex math formulas, which I really like. Um, let's see, what else do they have? They have a paper. So, you know, this is good for students. Look how complex this paper is with um, special, you know, indentations and footnote formatting. So that's kind of cool. They also give um, Let's see what else. An ebook sample. Here's a Holmes ebook sample. Uh, let's see what is that. What that looks like. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. And you've got links. I guess does that work? To chapter links. Um, and I guess you know this is an easy way to create an ebook and then uh, export it as such. Now, if you're looking at this. Um, Basically, the documents are laid out as sort of squares, and you can uh, sort by title or sort by date, which is handy. Now, in the settings area, you can link your um, your program uh, to Dropbox and your documents to Dropbox, and it's easy to do. You just press re link, and it does it. Or if you want to refresh the iTunes Sync, also you can unlink to Dropbox, and also you can set up iCloud Sync. Now, there isn't a Mac program called Rich Text Edit, and maybe there'll be one in the future, but so for now, there's only an iPad app, so the iCloud Sync allows you to sync among different iPads if you have more than one. You can set up a security pass code, you can send feedback, and you can also learn about Rich Text Edit. Um, now, here's what's cool. The um, Let's take it, open up a sample. If you want to edit the keyboard, has this cool function that we've seen in uh, some other app that recently came out where you can you can move the cursor right from the keyboard using this little trackpad area so you can position instead of going with your finger to the word and you can also use the arrows to go one word at a time um, what else you've got a nice wide selection of fonts in the font button uh, ranging from academy engraved uh, all the way down to Zap Fino, and uh, so there's a wide range of that. You've got a wide range of font sizes, and and then you can also insert a lot of cool things like date and time, arrows, parentheses, punctuation, currency symbols. They've got wow, a wide variety of currency symbols. They've got pictographs, so you've got all sorts of cool little little pictographs that you can insert and a wide amount of bullets and stars. Wow, you have a, a lot of those. And then you've got a wide array of math symbols. So if you're writing some sort of mathematics paper and letter-like symbols, you've got this is, and then you've got emojis. You've got lots of emojis, nature, people, objects,
places, symbols. So this is a very, and then recently used insertions. Uh, and then you've got, of course, uh, left justify center, right, uh, and underline, bold, and italic. So this is very comprehensive. Now, if you want to share a document, um, I don't think you could do it while you're in the document. Let's see. If you open up, you can't really share. You can go to full screen, which is nice. The other thing that you can do, which I found, if you swipe down from the top, uh, well, if you, if you touch the um, where the um, title is, you can edit it. Uh, if you go to the top, and I did this before, huh, you get like these stats. I don't know how I did that. Maybe it's in a different document. Um, but there is a way to tap on the top, and you get, I did it in the Get Started one, you get, huh, no, that's not it. You get um, you get these stacks like how many? Oh, there you go. You got to be careful what you 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 go right near the top. Huh? How did how did I do that? There we go. You you slide it down. That's a little buggy. It'd be nicer if it worked more smoothly. It gives you the reading time, the sentences, the word count. In other words, document statistics. So that's very cool. Now, if you want to share a document, you go back to where all your documents are and you click, um, well, that's to create a new document, uh, the plus sign. But if you want to share it, you click edit and I'm going to click that and get rid of that new document. But if you want to uh, share a document, let's say the math sample, oh, I, I, I need to press edit. Okay, so you press edit click the math sample, then press the arrow, and you can send via mail, send to apps, send to Evernote, you can print, or select don't store in iCloud. Now, let's say you want to send it to an app. If you select RTF, which is in Word format, you know, on my iPad, I can send it to a whole bunch of apps, including GoodReader, QuickOffice, but notice in RTF format, uh, pages won't import it. Now, if you select a text, Pages will import it as a .txt document. And also, it's very handy to have a PDF export. It goes into iBooks and a whole bunch of other PDF apps. And then, of course, you can also expo export it as an HTML if you want to create like a web content. And you can use things like Dropbox. So it's a very powerful app. And, you know, I think it's very cons comprehensive. And for only 99 cents, you know, I, I highly recommend it. I think it's it's something definitely to get, particularly if you're into word processors and you like RTF, rich text format. So thumbs up from Lex.